In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your pack and your bowl holder with this little contraption right here. It's going to completely transform the way you hunt. Let's get after it. My name is Matt and I live for moments like these. Well, guys, I killed the biggest buck of my life this morning. I'm far from an expert, but using persistence and a little bit of luck, I'm able to make some pretty cool things happen. I do my best to capture the entire harvest, the kill, the prep, and my favorite part, the meal. Because to me, it's more than a hunt. It's man versus deer. He is a mass monster, holy cow. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out a man versus deer video. I post a lot of hunting content, mostly in the style of catch, clean, cook. So if that's something you're into, make sure you smack that subscribe button and turn on that notifications bell because you're going to love checking out the other videos on this channel. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you guys how you can replace your hunting pack and your bow hanger with this little guy right here. May seem like a tall task, but dynamite comes in small packages, and I assure you this thing is more than capable of doing both of those things, and it's going to really, really impress you if you stick around and watch the whole video. This product is actually called the Boot Bandolier. It's made by a company called Twisted Iron Hunting, and I'm going to go through this video. I'm going to do a review on this product. I've actually used it in the field quite a bit, um, and then I'm going to tell you all the features it has to offer, but before we jump into that stuff, I'm going to give you a little backstory on how I got this. I'm going to give thanks to a couple of people. So this little guy right here is how this whole thing got started. My buddy Matt Eden over at the Missouri Public Hunter page, which he's an awesome dude and that's an awesome channel. You should totally go subscribe. He gifted me this little guy right here and this is the original boot bandolier. This is uh, what got all of this started. And he gifted this to me. So I put out an appreciation post on Facebook and I tagged him in it and I tagged the company in it. Well, the company um, kind of checked out my YouTube channel, um, reached out and said, hey, we like what you're doing. Uh, you're a friend of Matt. Matt's a friend of ours. We want to send you the newest model, and we want you to do a review on that one. And I'm also going to the ATA with those guys this year, too. So um, I want to say thank you to Matt Eden, first of all, for gifting this to me, and then introducing me to the owner of Twisted Iron Company. And then Scott, the guy who owns Twisted Iron, thank you so much for sending me a newer version of one of these to review and appreciate the ATA invite. I can't wait to hang out with you, buddy. So let's kick off this review video by telling you a little bit about the history of the boot bandolier. So this product was actually designed, and this is where the name comes from, to strap onto your leg. Uh, it was supposed to keep all your hunting accessories very, very readily accessible, whether you were walking or, you know, sitting in a blind or whatever. It was meant to strap right to your leg. All your stuff was right there. Um, and yeah, it still got the strap that that was... Uh, intended for on the back of it um, in the new product design so you can still use it for that purpose. However, due to product development, trial and error, and just little gradual improvements over time, they've added a, a big beefy strap that actually secures this thing to the tree. They've got a carbon fiber bow hook and a gear hook that you can order with the Saddle Savior Bundle. That's the kit I had sent to me. Uh, your bow hook goes right on this strap. Your gear hook can go on this strap too. So essentially, you can go up the tree hang your pack on the tree, have everything readily accessible right there, and then hang your bow on this thing, and it's all super light and public land legal. As far as the construction of this thing is concerned, it, uh, it looks like it was made with the mobile hunter in mind. It's got some pretty heavy duty, beefy buckles on here. They're not metal, so they're not gonna clink, but they're also um, pretty beefy and they're not gonna break either. The strap on here is cotton webbing, um, and you can, just by feeling it, you can tell it's heavy duty. They got some molly webbing built right into the strap here, and the strap is actually fully adjustable. Um, it'll go out to 33 inches, which will fit it around a pretty big tree where you can cinch it all the way down for shoulder carry. The stitching on here is all bar stitched, so it's not going to come apart very, very easily. You're going to be able to uh, put this thing through a lot of use and abuse, and it's going to hold up to the elements. So as far as storage on this thing, it's going to surprise you how much things it can actually hold and still not seem overpacked. It's got a pretty deep pocket on the front, and then it's got five other pockets on the inside um, to give you six pockets of storage total. I'm able to bring my headlamp, my rangefinder, wet wipes, um, a set of pruners, I've got GoPro, GoPro batteries, a grunt tube, all of that fits in here and it's still not overpacked. And it does have a spot for like a 20 inch uh, or 20 ounce drink um, built right into the pack as well. In addition to the six pockets, it's got some webbing on the front here, and it's also got some molly webbing on the strap that we covered earlier. Um, this elastic webbing on the front is really, really convenient for um, storing things that you want to be able to access quickly, 
I found it is the perfect place to store the carbon fiber bow hook and the carbon fiber gear hook. Last but not least, once you got everything packed in here that you're wanting to take to the woods, you can actually secure it by closing the flap and then uh, clicking these buckles together at the very bottom. It's going to keep everything in there nice and secure and uh, quiet while you're packing this thing into and out of the woods. Additionally, this thing is very, very quiet. They did a good job on the design process with this by lining the inside of the pack with nylon lining, which is very, very quiet, and uh, it's not going to make a whole lot of noise when you're getting into this thing for your hunting gear. Next, I'm going to show you guys the different carrying options you have for this. So option number one, it's obviously got a strap that you can use as a shoulder strap, and this is a very, very convenient way if you're hunting in a ground blind or a preset tree stand and you're just bringing the pack into the woods with you and out of the woods with you. So you've got that option there. The strap is fully adjustable and you can just carry it over your shoulder. Also, this thing is just like any other pack and if you are a saddle hunter or you use a mobile hang-on stand like I do, this thing will easily just sit right on top of your pack and you can use bungee cables to hold it in place. Um, it's very, very small. It's not bulky at all, so it does not add a ton of weight and it is very, very easy to bungee down to any saddle or tree stand setup. All in all, guys, this thing is a super solid product, and I meant exactly what I said earlier. I have literally replaced my bow holder and my pack with this guy right here, and it's uh, it's been lighter setup, it's been a quieter setup, and there is less steps to setting this up than the previous method I was using, so it is a win-win. I think if you try this thing out, you're going to like it. Now, I got the Saddle Savior Bundle Kit. It's $64.99, I believe, on their website, which I'm going to link in the description below. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, click that link in the description. It'll take you right to their website. Well, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that this video was entertaining. I hope it was informative. And I hope that it made you want to come back and watch more man versus deer videos, which if you do, as this video closes, more man versus deer videos will pop up. You can click on those and get your man versus deer fix right there. I want to throw a quick thank you out to Matt and uh, Missouri Public Hunter. Make sure you go subscribe to those guys. And then Scott and Twisted Iron Hunting for sending me a new and improved boot bandolier to do a video for you guys. I can't wait to make more videos with this product in it. I want to wish you guys good luck next time you're in the woods. I want to thank you again for clicking on this video. And God bless.